In this chapter, we're going to review for, begin the review for test two by reviewing a little bit about capacitors, which actually was the end of chapter 16, and general electricity, which is chapter 17. So, a capacitance is a device to store charge. And to store charge means you can store energy in a capacitor to be used at a later time. Uh, how do you get the charge on the capacitor? Well, you connect it to a battery, like we have in this picture here. Uh, the positive charge flows from the positive terminal, and so one of the capacitor plates is charged positive, the other one's charged negative. There's a separation between them called D. And it's also possible to put in a dielectric in between them to change the capacitance. Now, the capacitance is defined as the ratio of how many coulombs of charge can be deposited for every volt. In other words, if you, for example, deposit five coulombs for, per volt, then the capacitance is five coulombs per volt, which is called a farad. This is a very large amount of uh, a, a large capacitor. Usually they're much smaller than this. But to find out how much cool, what the capacitance is, basically you have to do, define divide the amount of charge deposited in the plates divided by the distance between the plates. So for example, 10 coulombs, if the distance between the plates is uh, 1 centimeter, which is 0 0.01 meters, we would say that the capacitance is 1,000 coulombs per volt or 1,000 farads. Now, uh, the amount of charge you can deposit on a capacitor depends on the geometry of the capacitor. Depends on the area. The more area, the bigger these plates are, the more charge you can deposit. It also depends on the separation between the plates. The bigger you make the separation, the smaller the capacitance becomes. And it also depends what is in between the plates. Uh, there's nothing between the plates and epsilon naught is called the permittivity of free space. So you can change the capacitance by changing any one of those, or all of them, or some of them. So for example, say you have a capacitor whose initial capacitance is epsilon naught A over D. And say we change some things about it, so it'll be new capacitance. What do we change? Let's say we make the area three times as big, the area of the plates, and the distance between them twice as far apart. And so this will be three halves epsilon naught over A over D. So we will have made the capacitance one and a half times as big as it was previously. The amount of energy that is actually stored in a capacitor is given by one of three formulas. Depending on what about the capacitor do you know, if you know the amount of charge on each plate and the voltage across the plates, then the energy stored will be one half QV. If you know the capacitance and the voltage across the plates, then the energy stored will be one half CV squared. And if you know the charge and the capacitance, then the energy stored is Q squared over 2C.